Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name is Jim Falk and I'm with TrailGear.org. Today I'm going to show you a uh, neat little fire system I found on YouTube under a site called Bear Patch One. The URL is at the bottom of the screen. Um, they called it Tinder Rope, I call it Fire Rope. Um, I modified it a little bit for my application. Uh, what I did is I took an empty uh, prescription bottle and I wrapped 100% jute twine around the outside. I'll show you how I use this to uh, aid in starting this fire. On the inside, I have a few cotton balls that are saturated with Vaseline. I have a flint striker, a flint and a striker. I have a snuffer ring. This is used to extinguish the fire. And I have a long piece of cotton cord. Make sure it's cotton cord. You can get this at the uh, hardware stores, Home Depot. This is the type of uh, cord that's, uh, or rope that is used for uh, hanging clotheslines. And the trick is, what you do is you saturate this rope with Vaseline. Take a large glob of Vaseline, put it in the palm of your hand, and take the rope, put it in there, and just knead the Vaseline into the rope all the way up and down its length and basically just saturate the rope with Vaseline. Okay, the first thing you want to do is string or run your uh, cotton rope through the hollow tubing that's going to be used to extinguish this uh, fire. Uh, this is uh, a piece of aluminum tubing, but you can use uh, copper too. Anything that will allow the the, uh, the rope to slide through. I'll show you how I use this. Uh, the cotton rope by itself will not ignite from a flint and steel. Uh, the, uh, the strands are a little bit too thick and it won't accept the spark very well. But what I do is I use either the 100% jute twine or a little tiny piece of the cotton ball that's saturated with Vaseline as the igniter. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use a little tiny piece of cotton, my striker, and my flint. And that will ignite the end of the uh, Now, as you can see, this is a good strong flame. You can use this to move to uh, multiple fire lays and start fires. And then it also can be used as a candle at night. This is uh, bright enough that, uh, surprisingly, you can, you can actually walk around with this to, you know, find things. Um, then to put it out, you use a snuffer ring and you slide it over the flame like that. Now I want to show you how to uh, use your 100% jute twine as the igniter. Um, cut off a small piece of jute twine, fray it apart so it's a light airy fuzz ball, like this. Um, this looks like a lot, but believe it or not, I only used about that much jute twine. You fray it out so it's light and airy fuzz ball. Take your knife and serrate the ends of your cotton rope to make it easier to ignite. Take your flint and striker. And ignite your rope. I like this system. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a handy little system. Um, I'd like to thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day.